Ever since I pimped out my 1988 Jet Ski 650SX, I have just been dying to get it on some beautiful turquoise water, which so far hadn't happened. As it turned out, my wife suggested we rent an Airbnb near the Philpot Lake in southwest Virginia to celebrate our fourth wedding anniversary. Immediately, I was on Google Maps comparing the water there to the images of the James River near Richmond. After that bit of research, I was hoping to find the turquoise waters I'd been dreaming of, and I was not disappointed. The water was phenomenal, crystal clear with a beautiful green tint, and it looked a lot better than the James River. Rebecca set off in the kayak with Lola on board. She towed an inflatable with a few beach essentials to a clay shore across from the boat ramp. <laughs> One thing that I would like, and maybe it does a paddle hurt. holder? Yeah. Where you like hook it in or strap it in yeah. so it never we'll falls out. We'll figure something out. We'll make something. The area is completely wild, with fallen trees littering the shoreline and sunken logs just beneath the water surface. I'm slowly getting the hang of the stand-up. On this occasion, I decided to keep my feet in the footholds. This feels strange at first, since the staggered stance is more typical, but the side-by-side -side arrangement did seem to work better for slow speeds. I'm hoping to get more comfortable with this stance since it will be the preferred setup for surf riding. Every bit of it was great, and Lola especially took to it once we gave her a towel to soften up the sit on top. Yeah, maybe a little bit. We explored the area on our respective crafts and eventually decided to move our camp to another section of shoreline, this time with more rock than clay. To sum it up, it was horrible. Don't go. <laughs>